recent years, we've heard more and more about the benefits and ease of a vegan diet. But one local company has touted its benefits for 15 years. Upton's Naturals is celebrating its major milestone, and they're joining us in Studio 41 Kitchen, founder Dan Stackman and Vice President Nicole Sopko. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thank you. So tell us about, we. everyone, we were just talking about, a lot of people have it in their minds that going vegan is very difficult, and you're here to tell us it's not. Yeah, today it's it's really easy. Uh, we're, we're both vegans of over 20 years, and it's it's we'll show you how easy it is. Okay. I mean, it, everything's in a packet, or it's frozen, or it, you know, very simple. Much easier to find. Yeah, there's convenience yeah. food now that I'm sure when you guys started the vegan lifestyle were not around at all. Yeah, I had to drive 20 minutes each way to get uh, the one brand of soy milk that was available. It was mostly chalk yeah. in, in like an aseptic yeah. box. And okay. Okay. Yeah. So for people that are, aren't necessarily sure what a vegan lifestyle is, what does it mean to be a vegan? No animal products of any kind. That includes clothing and and uh, you know, fabrics, that sort of thing. Um, but food-wise, what does that food mean? Food-wise, you know, no dairy, no eggs, no meat, no fish, chicken. Do you? Spy I was like, confused by this. Do you guys do honey? We don't. Okay. Okay. So honey there, is included in that. Yeah, there are some honey vegans, but. Yeah, yeah. you guys are we, you guys yeah. are strict. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So tell us about <clears throat> what you have here for us today. Yeah, so today we're going to prep a box of our deluxe cheesy mac and um, try to make it a little bit fancy so okay. that you have kind of a nice a nice meal, a nice quick meal. Um, so when you open up this deluxe cheesy mac, there's two things in there. There's a, already a pre-cooked noodle okay. and a packet of, of, of a vegan cheese sauce. Well, pre-cooked noodles already, so you're making it really, really easy. Really, yeah. really easy. You don't have to boil water. No, yeah. we're the, and we're the only brand with a, with a pre-cooked noodle like that. Too, wow. Okay, so. so you poured, what was that, um, so oil? That, that was our, I put a little oil in there, and that was our noodles going in. So one thing that we like to do um, when we make this Ooh, is uh, <laughs> heat up too high. One thing that we like to do is to fry our um, to fry our mac and cheese. So rather than you know cooking it in a saucepan, cooking in a little bit of oil uh, in like a frying pan, and then you can get it all a little bit crispy, get a little bit of different texture in there. Mm, yeah, um, is a little bit of a different experience. Yeah, I never thought about frying mac and cheese. Yeah, but if the noodle's already cooked, yeah. I, I love, love like yeah. casseroles. It's cr the, the crusty part's everyone's favorite part, right? Yeah. <laughs> that that's what my mother used to cook for me. You know, we'd have leftover mac and cheese, and um, the next day it would be fried. Okay. So we actually have that at our restaurant uh, here in town, and it was such a popular item that we decided to put it in a box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> put it in a box. We, All made right. a, we made a boxed version that's easy for you to make the same way at home, okay. fry it up at home. Yeah. All right. And that was it? That's, that's it? That's the fried mac and cheese? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's ready to eat right now. We're going to we're gonna dress it up a little bit. Okay. okay. Yeah, so we so what what I did um, prior to this is I cooked a little bit of our barbecue jackfruit with some oil and a little bit of our bacon seitan. So these are two different varieties of uh, meat alternatives. And we should explain what jackfruit is to a lot of people because I, I was scratching my head like, jackfruit? I don't think I've ever heard of it, although you were very familiar yeah. with it. Yeah. Yeah, jackfruit is, um, it's a fruit. It's the largest tree-borne fruit in the world. And um, when you harvest it, when it's young, before it gets sweet, before it gets ripe, you can cook it. And it has a texture similar to like a shredded meat. So we do a few varieties that are pre-seasoned, so you can just cook them at home. It's a nice um, meat alternative because they are, it is a whole food. So it's just fruit with sauce on it. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Yeah. And at what point do you add that to the dish? Yeah, so I I was we're gonna kinda do this at the end. So we can take this cooked fried um, mac and you can see it's oh I'll get some on the top there. But you can see that it's a little bit it's a, got a little bit crispy there. And then in this case we're gonna top it with a little bit of our barbecue jackfruit. So this is kind of when you when you're looking for something a little bit easy to make, okay. not too fancy. A little bit of jackfruit, a little bit of our bacon seitan, and seitan is a meat alternative made with um, wheat protein as the base. Okay. 
and uh, a little bit of cilantro. What I like about this too is it's like guilt-free, guilty pleasures, right? Like, mac, like a good baked mac and cheese is not the healthiest thing for your diet. <laughs> when you're doing plant-based stuff, it always kind of changes the nutritional profile. Yeah, there's no cholesterol in this. Um, it doesn't contain the, the same level of fat. So because actually these two meat alternatives don't contain any oil, when you, chew, when you cook it at home, you can choose to add oil or even not to add oil. You could do a water saute and keep the oil out of it completely. So okay. it gives you a lot of control. Yeah. And that is? I'm gonna put a little bit of sriracha on there. If you hey, like something a little okay. spicy, then you can add a little sriracha. And, then, and, and when you do this at home, you can kind of use whatever you have. So you can use whatever fresh herbs you might have. You could use whatever other kinds of flavors you like, whatever kind of oil. I like like a toasted sesame oil is really good yeah. to get a little bit of a different flavor. Mm, so. Okay. And so what other types of um, uh, vegan options do you have in your line of uh, foods there? <laughs> Well, we started with the seitan. That was uh, our, our first line. Um, about 10 years after that, we already talked about jackfruit. Mm -hmm. um, last year, we launched a banana blossom, oh. which uh, is another whole food meat alternative that's used as a fried fish alternative. Again, really simple. It's just fruit. You can batter it and fry it or do an air fry. It's the flower that you see at the bottom of a bunch of bananas. Uh -huh. So it's actually edible. <laughs> yeah, and otherwise that would just go to waste. Yeah. So, okay. um, and then this year we launched a line of canned soups. Oh, that's which, great. Uh, we're, we're pretty excited about. <laughs> we're leaning into convenience. All well, right. I mean, that's lifestyle these days, right? It I mean, is. It, 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 we all are busy, and if we want to try and fit this in, it's got to fit, right? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. All right. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank Congrats you. on 15 years. That's great. Yes. Thank you. Um, you can find more information about Upton's uh, Naturals, the break room that they mentioned, the restaurant that's right there on Grand, and there are their Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter handles. And you can also find it at UptonsNaturals.com. Awesome. Thank you all. Thanks, guys.